Good morning, Alex and Levi. How are you? You guys ready for your real spelling test? I hope so. <laughs> I know both of you guys always do really good on my spelling test because you both of you guys read a lot. And uh, your moms have been telling me that you guys have been reading. So that makes you a really good speller. Reading helps you to spell really good. It helps you to speak really well. And it helps you to write really well. So it helps you with a lot of things. And plus, it puts information in your head. And if you're reading good literature, then you're learning the seven natural affections of love. Okay? So let's get started on our spelling test. Um, on, the top, if, on the top of a paper, if you're using a blank, blank paper, I want you to make sure you write your name on here, your date, 9 4 20, September 4th, 2020. And please write spelling test number seven. You don't have to write group two. That's just to let you know to make sure you're on the right video. This is for group two. Okay. <laughs> Spelling test number seven. I'm going to give you, let me count how many words. Yesterday I gave you one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to give you nine words, nine spelling tests. So I'm going to give you yesterday's five plus one. I'm going to pick one from Monday, one from Tuesday, one from Wednesday, one from Thursday. Okay? So your first spelling word is number one. Your first spelling word is wood. Would you go collect some wood for the fire? Wood. I'm having pineapple prickly pear tea. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm trying to drink less coffee. All right. Number two, the word is, hmm, which one should I pick? Fruit. Fruit. What is your favorite fruit? Mine is figs. Hmm. What is your favorite fruit? Okay, number three, your word is wood. Would you please bring me your paper? Wood. Notice we have two woods in here. They're spelled differently. Would you please bring me your paper? And that was number three, one, two, three. Oh, I need to find one from up here. Hmm. How about wheat? Wheat. We grind wheat to make flour, and we use the flour to make bread. Wheat. Wheat is a grain. Wheat. What what Monday, Tuesday? That one was from last week. Okay. That word that spelling. That's okay, you should know how to spell it. Your next word is clear. Clear. Clear off your desk when you take off when you take a test. Clear. was one, two, three, that was number four. Number five is, no, that was six. The next word is reach, reach. Excuse yourself when you reach, when you reach over someone, reach. The next word is sent. The mother sent her son to the store for milk. Sent. It's not as in one cent, one penny. It's not that one. It's sent when you send someone. Sent. Your next word is delay. Delay. Eight. That's number eight. Number eight is delay. Ask 
And the last one, number nine, the word is hurt. Did you hurt yourself when you fell off the bike? Hurt. Hurt. Okay, so you're going to take your spelling test and put it inside your multi-subject folder. Don't compare it to the words from the previous days. I'll correct it when I get it here tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, today, this evening. Um, and I will let you know which ones you missed, okay? Um, if you want to know quickly, I'll. Uh, if I have your mom's or dad's phone number, I can send a picture of it, okay? All right, so go ahead and get your spelling books out, and I'm going to give you, let me see, uh, one, two, three, four, I'm going to give you five new words, okay? Five new words. So this is going to be number six on in your spelling book in section K3. Your first word is <coughs> move. Move. Please move over for someone else to sit. Move. Go ahead and write it and then look at mine after you write it to see if you, you were able to spell it correctly. Okay. I think we're in section K3. And it's number six in your book. Move. Remember your nice penmanship? Okay, make nice letters. So we're going to look to see if we have any multi-letter phonograms. I don't see any. Okay, no multi-letter phonograms. We see a silent E. It doesn't say a sound. Mm, ooh, mm -hmm. But there's no, no sound here. So we double underline it. Move. Okay. And there's five rules to using silent E. And we always say them in the, in the same order. Number one through five. And we go down the line until we find the rule for using this silent E. The first rule is we use a silent E to, sell, to tell a vowel to say its second sound. So let's see if this is the second sound. This vowel has three sounds. A, O, U. A, O, U. Moo, U. It's saying U. A, O, U. It's saying the third sound. So what do we do when we when a vowel says its third sound? We put a three for the third sound on top of the O. Okay. So we're not using rule number one. What's rule number two? V and U take a two. English words do not end in V and U, so we use a silent E so it won't be the last letter. And that's rule number two. V and U take a two. So we're going to put a two right there next to the silent E. Okay. Your next word is test. Test. One syllable. Test. We just took a spelling test. Easy peasy, huh? I don't see any multi-letter phonograms. I don't see any silent letters. Every every letter says it sound t s t. And I don't see any letters saying the second sound. So there is nothing to mark on this one. We leave it alone. The next word is care. Care. Okay. Care. Please take care of your puppy. Care. One syllable. Care. Okay. A lot of the a lot of the words that we say, especially here on the West Coast, we don't say them the way we should. We we get kind of lazy when we speak. 
So this is one of the words that we don't say correctly. We, most of us say care. It's really, it's really care. It's kind of like a, you see the A back here, care. Okay. So we don't have any multilateral phonograms, but this is saying A, care. Okay. So this is here and it's rule number. It's telling the A, but it's not saying cat. It's saying care, A, care. It's the first rule. It's showing the vowel to say its second sound. Okay. The next word is, which is nine in your book, but it's the fourth one I'm giving you. The next word is spell. Spell. If you study, you will be able to spell your words. Spell. One syllable. Spell. That's an E right there. It doesn't look like it, but it's an E. Okay. No multi-letter phonograms, no silent letters, but why do we have two L's? This word is following a rule. And we have a rule that says any word that is one syllable and one vowel will double the, if it ends in F, S or L, it will be doubled. So it is one syllable, spell, one syllable, one vowel, and it does end in one of those F, S or L. It's an L, so we double it, okay? But we don't mark it, we just double it. Okay, number five, which is number 10 in your book. The word is state, state, state. One syllable, state, and it has many, many def, uh, definitions. State can mean we live in the state of California. Um, we each colony became a state um, after the after America gained her independence. It wasn't America yet, but when the colonies gained their independence. Each colony became a state. Okay, number 10. Okay, state. I don't see any multi letter phonograms. I do see a silent E, state. It's not saying a sound. So we're going to double underline that. Okay and go down the list. Rule number one, the E is there to tell the A to say A. State, it's saying A, so that's why it's there. I don't see a V and U, I don't see a C and G. Um, although I do see rule number four. Do you guys remember what rule number four is? Rule number four says that every syllable must have a vowel. Actually, this does have a vowel, so no, I'm sorry, it's not rule number four, okay? So those are your four, five words. Move, test, care, spell, and state. Practice writing those about five or six times. Know how to read each one, and I, I know these are easy for you guys. You guys are really good readers, but next, uh, next section, K3, they're going to get a little bit harder, so this is the last page of easy words. So study those, and I'm going to give you a test first thing uh, Monday, and then I'll give you some new words, and I'll let you know how you guys did on today's test, okay? All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, Alex and Levi.